This video we're going to look at algebraic fractions and the first of all we're going to look at how we simplify fractions. Okay, we're going to look at the first one as a numerical example. We've got 16 over 24. Now what you would normally do is you would probably just think, well, 8 divides into 16 uh, twice and 8 also divides into 24 three times, so it's just 2 over 3. There's obviously nothing wrong with that and that's the way I would advise you to do it, but I just want you to think about it a slightly different way. So we could think about this, we could actually factorise out the 8, so you have 8 upon 2, and then you have 8 upon 3, and then you can just cross out your 8, leaving you 2 over 3 as you had before. And that's really the way we want to think about these algebraic examples. So we'll just scoot across and look at these ones. So here, you've got your, uh, your 6 and your 9. Uh, not really a factorising one here, but you can say 3 goes into the 6 twice, 3 goes into the 9 three times. And then you've got a squared on the top, and you've got a in the bottom line. So a goes in, a goes into itself once, a goes into the a squared a times. Likewise, you've got the b and the b squared. b goes into itself once, uh, so it just disappears on the top line, and b, b goes into b squared b times. And there you have it. Uh, there's that one done. Okay, part c, this is where we are going to use our factorizing a wee bit more. So I'm going to factorize my top line. X comes outside, leaving you X upon X plus Y. Bottom line, Y comes out, leaving you X plus Y. Which then becomes just X over Y as your X plus Y term and your X plus Y term cancels out. So just on that, you can only cancel something out if it's multiplying everything on the top line, as this X plus Y is. It's multiplying everything on the top line, and also it's multiplying everything on the bottom line, as it is here. Okay, next one, uh, part D. Bit of a strange one, a uh, tricky example, this one. I'm going to leave the top line as A minus B. Bottom line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize out A minus 1. So it's minus 1 upon A minus B. Just check that. Minus 1 times A gives you minus A. Minus 1 times minus B gives you positive B. So it does work. And now we can cancel A plus A minus B will cancel out on top and bottom, leaving you with just 1 over minus 1, which is the same as minus 1. Okay, next example. Factorize everything here. Top line on the left-hand side, or left bit, is 2 upon x plus 3 over 7x. And then we've got x plus 2, and the bottom line here is a difference of two squares. So you have x, minus, x plus 3, x minus 3. And then a nice neat line through your x plus 3. It can cancel. And I think, yep, that's as good as we can go. So we can then just say, write that again. Multiply along the top, 2 upon x plus 2. And the bottom line is 7x upon x minus 3. That's it. Okay, so because we had a times, we were good to go. We were good to cancel. And again, Things you can see here, things don't need to be above each other as long as something's on the top and multiplying everything on top as this x plus 3 is and this x plus 3 in the bottom is multiplying everything again. And our last example we have on this in this video, again, we'll factorize where appropriate. Uh, but before we do that, what we want to do is, is a dividing. You must change your divide to a times and you flip the dividing fraction. So just the same as it would have been had you been doing a numerical division of fractions, the same rules apply. And then I'm just factorizing here. So x minus 2, x plus 2, and factorize this bottom line, you're going to have, whoops, you're going to have 2 upon x minus 6. And then what can you cancel? Sometimes it makes it a wee bit easier if you put a bracket around that just to make it a wee bit easier to see. This x minus 6 cancels with this, this x minus 6. x plus 2 cancels with this x plus 2, leaving you just with uh, x minus 2 on the top line and 2x on the bottom line. And that's us done.